You guys have been asking me to call the KKK as Tyrone for literally over 10 years. The actual KKK number is just a voicemail inbox, so you can't actually prank them. But one of you requested a prank on my website to a guy who's actually a KKK member. Yes, I'm serious. I did some digging and this guy's a real life clansman. You know, the kind of person who wears a white hood on their head and burns crosses on people's lawns. So I called him up as Abdu and Tyrone to invite him to my potluck dinner. Honestly, I'm not sure I should have invited him. Disclaimer, if you get triggered easily by racist pieces of losing their minds when trolled mercilessly, then you probably shouldn't watch this video. And for the rest of you, get ready to be blown away. Who's this? Uh, this is Abdu. Uh, I live in the building. What building? What are you talking about? I I'm roasting a turkey over here and I just needed some spices. I, I was just trying to get some crushed red pepper flake, my brother. I I oh yeah, you know what you should do with it. Yeah, yeah, what should I do? Help, brother. Stick it up in your ass. How's that? Now you're being rude, man. Like, it's not nice. There's no need for that. Well, how about I meet you somewhere? Tell me where to meet you. I'll meet you there right now. Why do you sound so hostile, man? Like, I asked you for red pepper flake. You sound so angry. Don't call me man. Don't call me man. Don't call me man. Okay, That's not my name. Can I call you brother? Don't call me brother, no. Can I call you donkey? Yeah, I'm gonna come down here and kill you, so tell me where you live. Look, are you just losing your now, mind in quarantine or what? Now, all I gotta do is get Verizon to find out where you live and I'll be down and blow your f***ing head off. How's that? But we're social distancing. You can't even do it if you wanted to, brother. Why don't you go back to where you came from? Oh, Oh, brother. yeah, go back where you came from. Oh, Cause you're a piece of s***. Oh. You're a piece of s***. Brother, ho hold on. Here's my roommate. My roommate. I could give a shit ass who your roommate hey, is. Hey, brother, man, can we just get some spices right quick, man? Like, uh, all we wanted was some crushed red pepper flakes. We'll bring you a nice little drumstick for you. Give me the address to the place. I'll bring it right down. Oh, uh, it's 15. Uh, you like dark me or you like uh, white me? You, you know what you're going to eat. You're going to eat some lead because I'm going to come down there and blow both your f***ing heads off. Because you're an ass. But if there is one over here, so like, it's leaning heavily in your direction, my brother. Is that right? Is yeah, that right? The needle is like just heavily tipped. I got your phone number. Now the cops will find out. Give me the address. We'll be down. We'll blow your f***ing head off. That's all that's going to happen okay, to you. Okay, so you're telling me right now during quarantine season, the cops will go out of the way. They're going to find I can care less about quarantine so, stage. I can care less okay, about it. But listen, I can care what less makes about you it. think the cops going to give a flying f*** about you, brother? Like, why do you think anybody gives a f*** about how you feel? Because nobody does. Buddy, you just f***ed with the wrong guy. Can we get some crushed red pepper, man? I'll, I'll bring you two pieces, man. Like, honestly, I'll bring you two legs. Oh my god, dude, royally f***ing on him at the end? He didn't know what to say. <laughs> Hello? I got a drumstick with your name on it, and it just came out the oven. So, what kind of side you like, my brother? You know what? This is the second time you called today. Like, it's not spice exactly the way you like it, because you never gave me the red pepper flakes. Because you're Because you're Oh my god, brother. That's what n***s do. Brother, I'm trying to be nice to you, my man. I'm trying to be nice you. Sir, this is but extremely disrespectful. I'm telling the popo that you said this to me and you are a disrespectful boy, you know that? You're a dirty, rotten, bum no Sir, how about you take off your clansman hat and just come sit at the dinner table and have a little chat and stop being a little How about, how about you're a n***er? I don't deal with n***er. Sir, listen, I got collard greens, I got sweet potato pie, I got apple pie, I got pumpkin Go pie. back to Africa! Go back to Africa with all your Okay, question, honestly, like, when you wake up in the morning, like, do you just start grumbling like the second you got out of bed, like, like The cops know who you are! Who do you think you're kidding? Wow, so how therapeutic is this that like you're able to just spew this f***ing, this nonsense? I'm just telling you the truth. I oh. deal in facts, buddy. I'm not a oh. I'm not a bullshit. I oh, just really? tell you the facts. Uh, how many people do you have in your life that actually deal with this f***ing nonsense that you spew? Like, did you have anybody around? Oh, I got family, nothing. Friends? I got every, oh, every, really? everybody I know. There's no way. You sound like a f***ing miserable old man. You literally sound miserable. So I don't know. Like, like the fact that you can talk like this to somebody means you're a miserable f***. Just sit, and we can acknowledge it and we can just get off the phone. What do you think? Something wrong? So I cannot mark you down as a yes or a no? <laughs> oh my god. That guy is such a bigoted piece of shit. Wow. Insane. Like, insane. Wow, I still cannot believe what a massive piece of shit that guy was. It's crazy to think that there are still people who think and speak this way in 2020. I'm hoping that next year involves less of a racial divide in this country. Feel free to make fun of this guy in the comments down below because I'm planning on sending him a link to this video in two days. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos and check out the last animations I posted and I'll see you guys again soon.